Well, come out here on the patio today, folks, and we're really casual for you. I apologize for not wearing a nice shirt, but it's hot, folks. And uh, we're doing a casual old southern style dish. And when I tell you what it is, some of y'all are going to get squeamish. And the ones that like it and know what it is, they're going to really, really, really be excited. What is it? Pig's feet. Yep, pig's feet. Often called trotters, curvy eaters, and different. There's all kinds of words, fancy words to describe pig's feet. And, uh, but back in the day, folks, people didn't throw anything away. When they butchered a hog or a cow or a calf or whatever, they used everything from the nose all the way to the tail. Oxtail is tail on cow. All right. So I love organ meat. I don't eat it all the time, but I do like organ meat. And the problem with things like pig's feet, uh, heart, liver, tongue, we're learning, we are forgetting how to cook those things in our generations. Our generation today, if they don't understand tongue, so they don't understand the care that it takes to go into cooking that. And I think that's a big reason people don't care for this stuff today like they should. And that's just my opinion, my little two cents I got on my soapbox for just a minute. But we got some pig's feet out here. I had these split. There's just one pig's foot, technically, that I got out here for display for you. But I had them split. Now, the hawk is usually up here, okay? But these are a little longer. A lot of pig's feet are cut off right here. Some come on up a little bit further. There's a lot of more meat up here than there is down here. Here's a lot of cartilage stuff in there. But what meat is in there and what you eat in there is very, very tasty. We washed these really, really good. And like I say, we had to bid butcher, butcher split them. In this pot right here, we've got about two, maybe a little more than two gallons of water. We're going to take our pig's feet and we're going to drop them off in there. You want enough water for them to be submerged. The way I do it, you want about three to four inches of water over the last thing you put in there. Why? I don't know. Just the way Jeff thinks it should be done. A lot of times things will boil and float to the top cartilage fat little things like that and they'll come more away from your meat in my opinion one thing that's key about this we're going to boil these for about two hours and then we're going to put them on the smoker for about an hour and then go over some direct heat to caramelize our barbecue sauce so we're going to do a barbecue version of these but you got to cook these pretty good first now one of the things that you got to get in there is some acid and these lemons here are not very big, so we're going to use three of them. And we're going to give them a little squeeze and just drop them in. But we want some of that juice in here. Why the acid? Well, to me, acid kind of helps the meat break down a little bit. But the acid adds a little bit of different flavor to what we got going on in here. And it helps in general. We're going to season up this water pretty good because it's going to help season the meat, but you're not going to be drinking the water. So to that, we want to add an onion that we've quartered. Okay, again, this isn't something we're going to eat these things. This is in here to add flavor to our dish. We're going to add a third of a cup of salt. Oh, it's a lot of salt, y'all say. It'll be all right. The same amount, third of a cup of black pepper. We want to put a tablespoon of red pepper flakes and a tablespoon of granulated garlic. Now, if you want to, you can add a little bit of vinegar. If you don't think you're going to get enough acid out of the lemon, you can either add more lemon or you can add a little vinegar. If you don't have the lemon, add some vinegar. So this amount right here, I would put somewhere between a quarter and a half a cup of vinegar in there. All right, we got a fairly good fire going right there. It's Burn it probably a little more than I would like to set something on there. I'd like it to burn down a little bit more. But you know what? We got a long way before this water even gets hot. And we're going to get that go. And again, we're going to let that boil for an hour and a half to two hours. Don't let different cuts of meat bother you. If you're not experienced with some of those, don't try to cook them. 
Because if you take a tongue, for example, and you uh, throw it in a skillet, you give it a good fry, and you serve it up, there ain't nobody going to eat that thing. There's a care in a way that certain things are prepared of this nature. And as long as you have that love and that care for that's in there, a lot of the older generations knew exactly what I'm talking about. That's kind of starting to get lost. Liver, a lot of people hate liver. They don't like it. Let somebody that's cooked liver a long time cook that liver for you or do a heart. Okay, same way with pig's feet, pig ears, pig tail, jowls. All of those things are things that are a lot of heritage to not just my family and the way I grew up, but in general throughout everybody in the country. That's the way they lived back then. You didn't throw anything away. The old phrase, you know, snout to tail. That was just the way it was done. We got our pot pulled off there with our pig's feet in it after about two, maybe two hours and ten minutes of cooking. So we're kind of getting our smoker kind of leveled out in order to be able to handle this. We're going to go on the second level in my, in my smoker. this this is falling apart pig's feet i'm gonna put these skin side down in here we're gonna put some barbecue sauce on these in a little bit i'm gonna let them go in here a little while and i think one of my pig's feet no, I thought maybe I lost a little piece of the hock off there, but I guess I didn't. This obviously we're going to throw away. This obviously we're going to close. And we're going to let this go really slow for 30 to 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Because we cooked them a little hard in the water. So we may cut that back to 30, 45 minutes. We're going to impart some smoke flavor into them. We're going to brush them with some barbecue sauce and slap them over a little hot coal. Hey folks, we've had these pig feet on here for a little while. They're kind of getting dried and crusted up a little bit in the right kind of way. Don't think it's the wrong kind of way, the right kind of way. We'll grab them off and stick them on here. Meanwhile, let's get our backside fire going. Get it a little warm. These feet cooked up pretty good. We'll take some barbecue sauce. Now I'm using store-bought barbecue sauce. You can use something that you want of your own. If you would like. We're going to get the bottom side of these or top side, however you want to look at it, coated. We're going to stick them on the fire and I'll do the other side while they're on the fire. Folks, we always thank y'all for what we're doing. Sometimes we do things that are different a lot of people don't understand why we do them but uh we try to expand not only our food but we try to expand our knowledge of food our types of food as well as bringing in a little history to food and things like pig's feet pig tails different things like that part of everybody's upbringing no matter how you think it was at some point your family ate everything we didn't have grocery stores like we have today back in the day we went there and uh had a general store we may have went to every few months getting these all cr uh, caramelized up here a little bit get a little shine on them i'm starting to smell some barbecue sauce which is always a good thing folks I'm going to pull a little piece off here. Oh, how tender this is. That's a good piece of meat right there, folks. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Melt in your mouth, believe it or not. Pig's feet, folks. Try. Step out of your comfort zone. Try something new. You may like it. Enjoy your food.